Hello there. Have you ever had to pull paper out of a spiral-bound notebook and the teacher's asking for your assignment right then and you have to pull it out and you leave all the little torn pieces of paper on the edge? I've been there too, and I'm here to show you how to do it properly and how to pull it out with a clean tear, and you can impress your teachers every time. So, first off, you're going to want a notebook. In this case, I'm using my notebook with school. Um, it doesn't matter what notebook you have, but obviously for, for these reasons, you know, it can be an old notebook. Um, for this tutorial, it can just be any, any notebook that you've used in the past, okay, and that you have some old paper in it that you don't want to use. In this case, I'm using my um, idea notebook that I just throw out ideas in, and I'll just tear out some of my old ideas. And it has David on it because he used to be my younger brothers, but now it's mine. So, we're going to go through here, find a um, piece of paper that we're not going to want. Here, we'll just go with this one. Or no, we'll go with, ah, here, this one. Um, I did some Chinese homework on it, as you can see. So, what we're going to do, now there's two, two different techniques that you can use, okay? One, if you have a little bit of time, or if you ha have enough time, what you want to do is you take it, and you see, along that perforated edge there, you're going to want to take it and fold. Do a nice, clean fold right there. Okay? Just fold along it, okay, and that just weakens it up a little bit. Now, bring it back, and what you want to do is put a little pressure on the left side of that perforated edge, and it doesn't really matter how you do it, or how you put pressure on this side, but you just want pressure right here, and because of that fold that you made, it tears right out, just like that. And see? Look at that. A nice, clean edge. So, that's the first technique, and see if you have a little time, you can fold it nicely and do it really nice. Okay. Now, for this next page, what we're going to do is a quicker technique. If you don't have enough time to fold it, what you're going to want to do is put pressure right here on the top. Just That's the only place you need pressure on the top, just like last time. But on this side, what you want to do is grab all along right here, okay? So you're going to, and you want to, what you want to do is when you pull, you want all the pressure to be going this way, okay? You don't want to bring it out. You do, you do, yeah, you don't want to tear like that, because that, that'll just rip it and you don't want to do that. What you want to do is get pressure going out across like that. Okay, make sure that you have pressure on top, that is key. Okay, and then you want enough pressure all the way down that it'll be able to pull all the way across. So, see I got my hand here, I'm going to be putting pressure like that. Okay, and what we're going to do is just pull straight up. Okay, so, on the count of three. One, two, three. And there you go. A straight edge once again. It's awesome. And see, you know, you'll impress your teachers every time it happens. It's incredible, um, and it's amazing. Now, afterwards, of course, you're going to have these little things here. And I've found that the best way to tear them off is just if you leave them on there in groups, and then you can pull them off in groups and just slowly work your way down. So just like that. And then pick up all the little pieces when you're done. So that's how you um, tear paper out of a spiral-bound notebook.